What's going on YouTube? So I'm pretty excited about this video for a few reasons. The first, we want to answer if there's a Pokemon that can dethrone slacking. And Regigigas might be able to do that. Looking at their stats and comparing the two, they have the same base attack and the same base speed and same base stat total overall. However, while Regigigas lacks the HP stat, it does have a higher special and slightly higher defense. Another advantage as you saw in the rival battle there, we start with Ice Punch. So Brock isn't going to be a problem, we're not going to have to level up like we had to do with slacking. Another reason I'm excited for this video, well, I know Madrybred is going to be doing a Regigigas run in Platinum and that video is going to be out by the time this one comes out, but I'm excited to watch that. I should talk about a huge advantage slacking held over Regigigas, and that's the fact it could learn Amnesia. I looked at Regigigas' learn set, TMs and TRs from Generation 4 onwards. It does not learn Amnesia, so we're going to have to be doing this run without a badge boosting move. Luckily, we won't need any type of badge boosting move for Brock. As I mentioned before, we start with Ice Punch, so I come in on minimum battles. It's two Ice Punches to take down the Geodude who just goes for Defense Curl. We level up going into Onyx who does outspeed and goes for Bide, but we get a critical hit to one-shot it. And Regigigas had a pretty fast Brock split. I don't remember the exact time, but it was barely over five minutes in-game time, maybe six. And with Brock out of the way, we can fast forward to Mount Moon where we take the Superior Fossil in the Dome Fossil I need to do a run with Kabutops and Amistar one of these days. There's a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon I want to get to. Anyway, we can get our timestamp after this Zubat encounter. Annoying bats. And Regigigas has a time of 20 minutes. Anyway, it's Rival 2 or Misty. I decide to battle Rival 2 for the extra levels, which I think will help with Misty when the time comes, even though we do have Thunder Punch on our moveset. Pidgeotto is the lead, it does outspeed with Sand Attack, thankfully Thunder Punch hits, it doesn't knock it out, it just goes for Tackle the next turn and we take it out the next turn. We level up going into Abra who can't attack us, Dizzy Punch, one shots it. Rattata is next, it goes for Quick Attack, doesn't do a lot, Dizzy Punch also one shots it. Charmander in the Sanqui tool has Dragon Rage, Dizzy Punch can't knock it out, thankfully it goes for Growl and not Dragon Rage, and we knock it out. And now we can go through Nugget Bridge where we can get those extra levels. I'm still going to keep it at minimum battles here. And I know in these Sanqui runs, I like to talk about the fifth trainer on Nugget Bridge because Makey has Karate Chop, which is a fighting move in this game, which Regigigas is weak to. But thankfully, he posed no problems this time. We can go ahead and pick it up against Misty, which she's going to be no problem. Star you, we go for Thunder Punch, we one shot it. Star me, it does outspeed, but it's just two thunder punches to take it out. Regigigas is cruising, with no signs of it slowing down anytime soon. Speaking of cruise, let's board the cruise ship, the SSN, which I skip body slam because Regigigas can't learn it. Yeah, I was a little disappointed to see that. I saved outside of the SSN, battled the youngster, can't learn it. So we're going to battle Rival 3 without it. Pidgeotto's the lead, Ice Punch one-shots it. Next up is Raticate, I go for Dizzy Punch, it's also a one-shot, don't think the crit mattered. Kadabra, we do outspeed it, Dizzy Punch one-shots it. We level up going into Charmeleon, and it's Dizzy Punch and another one-shot. So a clean sweep of Rival 3. And I guess I'm thankful that we do have a stab move in Dizzy Punch on our learn set, even though it's not the strongest. Anyway, we can go ahead and say bye bye to the SSN and hello to Lieutenant Surge. Which is something I want to point out. We were under 45 minutes in game time before battling Surge. Voltorb does outspeed, it hits us with Tackle, and Dizzy Punch one shots it. Pikachu's next, we outspeed, Dizzy Punch one shots it as well. Last is Raichu. X speed, I go for Ice Punch. I should have just went for Dizzy Punch. I still go for Ice Punch, and I get a lucky freeze and we can finish off Raichu, that's three badges down, and we get TM24 Thunderbolt, which Regigigas can learn, 
and is going to be an immediate upgrade over Thunder Punch. Nothing in Rock Tunnel poses a threat, so let's pick it up outside of Rock Tunnel, where we have a post-Rock Tunnel timestamp of 55 minutes. Reggie Gigas has reached the mid-game in less than an hour of in-game time. That is amazing. We're going to head to Celadon to do some shopping, buy some vitamins, and sell off some items that we have no need for. But we're also going to be upgrading our moveset. Although Regigigas cannot learn Ice Beam, it can learn both Rock Slide and Tri Attack. Tri Attack's going to be going on our moveset right away as an upgrade over Dizzy Punch. But we're going to be saving Rock Slide for a bit later. Anyway, I'm going to take on Erica before I go to the game corner, and we're at an hour in game time. Just amazing. To the battle, though. She leads with Victory Bell. I decide to go for Tri Attack because I think it'll do more than Ice Punch. Does over half. It hits me with Vine Whip, and another Tri Attack knocks it out. We level up going into Tangela. I go for Ice Punch. It's a one shot. I don't know if the crit mattered, but Vile Plume is last. And Tri Attack does over half. It goes for Mega Drain, and another Tri Attack finishes it off. With Erica out of the way, let's finish up business in Celadon. We went and grabbed Fly. We can go ahead and take on Giovanni at the game corner. And with a move like Ice Punch on our moveset, he's going to pose no problem at all. We one-shot the Onyx with one Ice Punch. We one-shot the Rhyhorn with one Ice Punch. And Kangaskhan, I switched to Tri-Attack. It's a two-hit KO. But, pretty easy battle. And with the Sylph Scope in hand, we can battle Rival 4. And I'm going to spare the narration of this battle. Between Thunderbolt, Tri-Attack, and Ice Punch, all of his Pokemon are one-hit KOs. But we need to talk about something. And that something is, where do we go next after Pokemon Tower? Yes, we are a Regigigas with off-the-chart stats, but we're also under-leveled. And the levels really spike from here. Just going off of mandatory trainers, we could battle Koga, whose ace is a level 43 Weezing, and Self-Destruct could one-shot us. There's also Rival Fival, whose party is overall well-leveled and balanced. And I mean, there's Sabrina, who we can't battle until after Sylph, and Blaine, who we can't battle until we beat Koga. In the end, I decided to try my luck with Saffron and Sylphco. We can get a new move in Sylphco, along with a rare candy, which we have a few of and could use if needed, although I'm hoping it doesn't get to that. But we can battle this one rocket and get the Carbos, the Rare Candy as mentioned, and TM26 Earthquake. With our moveset updated, we can go ahead and take on Rival Fival, who hopefully doesn't pose too much of a problem. Pidgeot outspeeds and hits me with Tackle. Thunderbolt doesn't one-shot it. It goes for Quick Attack and we finish it the next turn. We level up going into Execute. I go for Try Attack to test damage. Does over half, it hits me with Confusion. A second Try Attack knocks it out. Next is Gyarados, we outspeed, Thunderbolt takes it down in one shot, Alakazam comes out, it outspeeds me and uses Disable, thankfully it disables Thunderbolt and Tri-Attack one-shots it, we level up, Charizard is last, it hits me with Dragon Rage, I go for Tri-Attack, does over half, it fails Smokescreen and we knock it out, crit didn't matter, but Rival Fival, done, and perhaps I made a good call going to Sylph first, I'm really surprised. But I mean, it is a Regigigas with off-the-chart stats. I mean, I think we all probably saw this coming. And I think we can all see coming that the Giovanni battle will probably be even easier than Rival Fivals. He leads with Nidorino. I go for Earthquake. It's a one-shot. Kangaskhan is next. I switch to Tri-Attack. Almost one-shots. It goes for Dizzy Punch and we knock it out with Thunderbolt. Rhyhorn is a one-shot with Ice Punch and Nidoqueen goes down to one Earthquake. So yeah, it was a pretty easy battle. And now we can go ahead and finish up our business in Saffron by taking on Sabrina. And we're making great time. One hour, 32 minutes, about to get our fifth badge. The one question is, will we outspeed Sabrina's Pokemon? Let's find out. She leads with Kadabra, and Kadabra outspeeds, it goes for Reflect. Try attack doesn't one-shot because of that. It retaliates with Psybeam, which doesn't do much. We knock it out the next turn. Mr. Mime, we do outspeed. Try attack one-shots it. Venomoth comes out. We outspeed it as well. 
Tri Attack doesn't one shot. It goes for Psy Beam, thankfully, instead of Sleep Powder. We knock it out. We level up going into Alakazam. It outspeeds, uses Disable on Earthquake. Tri Attack doesn't one shot it. It goes for Recover, but it can't recover enough. And that is five gym badges down. The only place to head now is west of Celadon City to Cycling Road, where we're gonna head south towards Fuchsia City. I do pick up the rare candy here. I've been picking up the candies just in case I need them, since Regigigas doesn't have a badge boosting move like Slacking does. And once we get to Fuchsia, we can go ahead and take on Koga. And there really isn't much to say about this battle, I'm not gonna narrate it. Earthquake one-shots all of his Pokemon, so we can just go ahead and move on to the Safari Zone where we collect the final HMs of the run. And it was at this point in the run I started to think, am I gonna have to start using rare candy soon? In terms of mandatory trainers, we have Blaine, the two trainers to get to Giovanni, Giovanni himself, Rival 6, and the League. We can just pick it up in Pokemon Mansion though, where I skip picking up Blizzard because Regigigas can't learn it. This one kinda stung. When it comes to facing Blaine though, we're making great time, 1 hour 49 minutes. As far as the battle against Blaine, there really isn't much to say. Earthquake one-shots all of his Pokemon. We do get lucky crits against Rapidash and Arcanine, but there isn't much to talk about. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up in Viridian Gym. And Regigigas is making phenomenal time, under two hours before battling the final Giovanni. Let's just get into it. He leads with Rhyhorn. I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. It's a one-shot. We level up. Doug Trio outspeeds. He uses a guard spec while underground. Dig doesn't do much and Ice Punch knocks it out. And from here, Earthquake one-shots Nidoqueen, Earthquake will one-shot King, and against Rhydon I decide to go for Ice Punch, and it one-shots. And that's all 8 gym badges down. But next we have Rival 6, who outlevels us by quite a bit. And I was really thinking, if I lose to Rival 6 a few times, it's probably rare candy time. Well let's just see how this first battle goes. He leads with Pidgeot, we do outspeed, Thunderbolt, one shots. Okay, that's good. Rhyhorn is next. Of course, we're gonna one shot it with Ice Punch, so that's two down. Next comes Execute. I go for Tri Attack. Does about half. It puts me to sleep, but I wake up right away. Confusion doesn't do much, and another Tri Attack knocks it out. Gyarados is next. We outspeed. Thunderbolt will one shot it. Out comes Alakazam after we level. It outspeeds and goes for Reflect. Tri Attack critical hits, though, so Reflect didn't matter. Charizard outspeeds, goes for Dragon Rage. I go for Tri Attack, does less than half. It hits me with Flamethrower. I go for Thunderbolt, which does finish it off. So, Rival 6, first try victory. And next we have the League, and you know we gotta talk about it. Lorelei is not going to be a problem at all. Bruno, on the other hand, could be. I could see our first reset coming at Bruno. Agatha, I don't think will be a problem. Lance, won't be a problem. The champion? Maybe Executor and Alakazam could give us trouble, but really that's it. And I think the League is truly the point where we're gonna have to start considering using rare candies. Of course we're not going to pop all of them and take the challenge out of it, but we might have to use a few. Which is why I also decided to pick up the rare candy in Victory Road, which funny enough, I have max repels on, but our level is so low, we're still running into wild Pokemon like Onix, Graveler, Machoke. We have finally arrived to the League with a pre-League timestamp of 2 hours 9 minutes. And I should also note that there were some optional battles that I took in Victory Road. But let's get into the Lorelei battle. The question is, can we one-shot Dugong with Thunderbolt? The answer, no. And it goes for rest. So, it looks like a two-shot. It is, we don't get a more favorable range. We knock it out while it's sleeping. Cloister's next. I go for Thunderbolt. It's a one-shot. Next is Slowbro. I go for Tri-Attack to test damage. Does maybe a quarter. It hits me with Water Pulse. I go for Thunderbolt to finish it off. We level up going into Jinx. I go for Tri-Attack because it has very frail defense. We one-shot it. Last is Lapras. I go for Thunderbolt. We get a crit and it hangs on with a sliver. Water Pulse doesn't do much, and we knock it out the next turn. So Lorelei, pretty simple, pretty easy. But now we have Bruno, and really the Pokemon that worries me the most is Machamp. 
Submission, even without a crit, might be able to one-shot us. Let's just get right into the battle. He leads with his first Onyx. It goes down to one Ice Punch. Hitmonchan is next. I go for Try Attack. It gets a crit in one shots, which on the off chance it doesn't, I need to watch out for counter. Try Attack doesn't one shot Hitmonlee, but it just goes for Focus Energy. We level up going into the second Onyx. Another Ice Punch one shots it. But here's Machamp. I go for Try Attack. It does less than half. It goes for Fissure. X defend and try attack and we win all right so Bruno I thought that was gonna be pretty difficult and now we have Agatha and I jump right into this battle without healing PP or HP and I actually didn't have to heal any HP because I didn't lose any anyway Agatha I'm gonna spare any narration earthquake and Thunderbolt take care of her entire team Next up we have Lance, which Sanqui Aerodactyl knows Iron Head. It can flinch, it's very fast, and can crit often. The Dragonairs are also very annoying with Thunder Wave, but we have Ice Punch for them. Anyway, Gyarados is the lead. We go for Thunderbolt and take it out in one hit. We level up going into the first Dragonair. Ice Punch, one shots, okay, don't think the crit mattered. Dragonair number two, I go for Ice Punch again. And yeah, crit definitely didn't matter. Aerodactyl does outspeed and goes for Iron Head. We flinch, it then goes for Takedown. I go for Thunderbolt. It hangs on with the Sliver. Lance heals it up with the Hyper Potion. We don't get a better roll. It goes for Takedown again and takes itself out with Recoil. Dragonite is last and it's four times weak to Ice Punch. That's Lance. We have made it to the champion. We're at the same level that Slacking was when it completed the game. And before the champion is where I make the first mistake in this run. You see, I decide to teach Rock Slide to Regigigas. But I decided to delete Try Attack, a move that gives us stab damage in order to do so. And my thought process at the time was to keep Earthquake because it has higher base power. But Earthquake also isn't very effective against Exeggutor. And it can't hit Charizard and I wanted Rock Slide for the Charizard. Because Executor is so bulky and has very high special as well, I didn't think Ice Punch would do a lot of damage to it. Well, there's no going back now. Let's see if Regigigas can beat the champion on its first attempt. Pidgeot's the lead, it goes for agility. I go for Rock Slide and it one-shots, perfect. Alakazam is next, it outspeeds and goes for Psychic. It does pretty big damage thanks to a crit. I go for Earthquake, and it doesn't one-shot. He goes for a full restore. I go for Earthquake again. It still doesn't one-shot, and Psybeam finishes me off. I shouldn't have deleted Try attack and I didn't even make it back to the champion on my next attempt. Bruno actually beat me. Machamp's submission took me out. And it's at this point I decided it's probably time to pop some rare candies. I used some to go all the way up to level 50 before trying Bruno again. Once again, Onyx goes down to an Ice Punch. Try Attack doesn't one-shot Hitmonchan, it just goes for Mega Punch. We finish it the next turn. Hitmonlee comes out. We didn't one-shot it last time. We do one-shot it this time. Onyx number two, it's gonna go down to an Ice Punch. But the question is, how much will we do to Machamp? Try Attack does over half. Okay, it goes for Fissure, and we finish it off. And Agatha, just like last time, I'm not gonna narrate this battle, although it is a bit closer because her Pokemon actually do do some damage to us. It's still a one-shot fest with Earthquake and Thunderbolt. And I'm going to do the same with Lance. We've seen this battle before. Thunderbolt and Ice Punch are more than enough to take down all of his Pokemon. The only difference, Aerodactyl goes for Crunch instead of Iron Head, so it doesn't do too much damage to us. And we're back to the champion. So I've learned my lesson from the first go-around against the champion. I'm still going to teach Rock Slide, but I'm going to delete Earthquake instead. Earthquake has run its course. It's not going to be useful anymore. We have other moves on our moveset to take care of the champion's Pokemon. We need Try Attack for that stab damage. Can we beat the champion on our second attempt? Well, against Pidgeot, I go for Rock Slide right away. It one-shots it. Out comes Alakazam. It still outspeeds us, goes for Psychic. Thankfully, it doesn't crit. I go for Try Attack, and we get a critical hit, one-shotting it. Out comes Rhydon, I go for Ice Punch, and it's a one-shot. 
good. Out comes Exeggutor. This thing's trolly. I go for Tri Attack. It does almost half. It puts me to sleep with Hypnosis. I'm asleep. It goes for Seed Bomb. All right, that's doing pretty good damage. We wake up and it misses Barrage. Tri Attack. We don't one shot it. It goes for Seed Bomb again. We're down to 13 HP as we knock it out. But there's two Pokemon left Gyarados. We outspeed. Thunderbolt. We take it out. Crit didn't matter. Charizard, we hit with Rock Slide, it's four times weak, and the champion is defeated. And the Regis are complete, until I learn how to code my own ROMs and can put Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky into red and blue. I think it goes without saying that Reggie Gigas did in fact beat Slacking's time, but by how much? It finishes the game at level 54, with the final in-game time of 2 hours and 20 minutes. By far, the best time on the channel, and it makes me wonder, what will I get with Mewtwo when I eventually do that run? Or the legendary birds for that matter? Anyway, I just want to say thank you for the continued support on the channel. We've got over 1400 subs now, and that really means a lot to me. I've still got some runs planned for the rest of the year, but once the new year comes, I want to start doing some first form Pokemon. Would you like to see them in the original red and blue? Or maybe fire red and leaf green? Maybe Pokemon Yellow? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna go back to a regular Gen 1 run in the next video. Of course, I'm gonna use the Gen 2 color palette in it, but let me know what you think of it, and I think this Pokemon will surprise a lot of you. I'm gonna get started on that video right now, but enjoy some bonus content. All right, I'm trying something new uh, as a suggestion from the comments. Some, oh, damn it. We got an encounter. Some live commentary as I play this. I have repels on, but uh we uh we're so low level still. Alright, I'm gonna save state here in front of Mewtwo. Live commentary Mewtwo battle. Can Reggie Gigas take it out? Psychic. Oh, critical hit one shot. Alright, Reggie Gigas, you can do this. I hit the wrong move. Went for recover. Try attack. That's doing a quarter. Wow. Barrier. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this might be a little tough. Paralyzed? Damn. Yeah. Okay. 2 0 Mewtwo. We're just so low level that. You know, Mewtwo outspeeds. Its special is massive. Psychic. That's over half. The crits at one shots. I might just have to try to freeze this thing. Oh, there we go. Reggie Gigas takes down Mewtwo thanks to the freeze. All right. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.